Hi Leo, this is going to be your career reading for March 2020. Hope you are doing well. Hope this reading gives you lots of knowledge and clarity. And I also want to mention, as usual, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, definitely do check out the description box below, since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So if you are interested in those do check out my Etsy shop I'm wearing the career one and then I'm also wearing the yin and yang bracelet as well so these are handmade by me they're sent out by me they're meditated with they are sage and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life so there's lots of layers <laughs> right lots of layers and um, yeah if you want to see the reviews and see how other people have seen results please do head over to my Etsy shop and there is a full-on uh, reviews section on there as well Alright, so let's get started. Also, I have a Patreon as well. If anyone is interested, interesting, <laughs> interested in joining there. So um, it's got exclusive content that I don't post anywhere else but on Patreon. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to shuffle these cards. I've also noticed that there's quite a few cards that have flipped over as well so what we're going to do is we're going to take out those cards that have flipped over let me just find them. let me just fish those out there's another one there do, 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 do. it happens when cards flip over and then i don't realize until i'm shuffling through them again there's another one let's see is that it this deck feels so like thin and compact um, I haven't used this deck for a while on my channel, but it feels good. Okay, so we've got another two there as well. Uh, yeah, I think that is it. If I come across any other ones, I will let you know. All right, let's begin. We have got here the Knight of Wands. This is really you unleashing your creativity in... March, you know what? March is really the start. In March, we start the zodiac year again. You know, we start with the zodiac signs again. We have, you know, the transition from spring to, sorry, winter to spring. Um, we go into, you know, airy season, and you know, it's it's fun. It's exciting. It's it's like a, a switch. I know that it's not spring everywhere in the world. Uh, I know that it's not sort of winter to spring everywhere in the world, but stereotypically it's known to be that time, um, especially here as well. So there's a lot of changes basically, right? There's a lot of changes with seasons in general, and I definitely see things warming up. That's why I'm really seeing that transition from winter to spring, because I'm seeing things really warm up here. And that's what the Knight of Wands is showcasing. It's showcasing new opportunities arising. It's showing creativity. So a lot more uh, flow. It's like, you know, the light bulb goes off. What does a light bulb generate? It generates heat. So I'm seeing definitely a lot of generation in that sense where you're going to get ideas you're going to um feel good about you know different creative things uh, you might even decide to start something on the side that's quite creative or something that relates or links to a hobby making things and selling things but the knight of wands really showcases um also you know passion and drive to do something that you really enjoy and you really like and that's really coming through now we have the ace of swords with the Knight of Swords and this really does showcase you know you really venturing towards something you want to do something that you're very clear and concisely wanting to do I don't know how else to put it except for that because I'm really seeing you doing something that interests you that makes you feel good that makes you feel excited Six of Swords getting away from things that don't make you feel good there's a big difference between these cards. So if you feel like you've been trapped doing the same thing over and over again, it's just not making you feel good. This is about breaking the cycle because you know what we have here? We have temperance. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, which is ruled by Jupiter. That is about abundance. That is about success. And it's also about money. Jupiter is a very abundant planet. 
to say the least, to absolutely say the least. So the Six of Swords is really a very, very strong card. It is just meant to be in that sense because the Six of Swords is about, you know, carrying the weight of something, not enjoying something, um, and trying to emotionally get yourself to a better place when you could actually be enjoying yourself and having a much better time doing things that you love, things that you are inspired by, things that you feel passionate about. So that's what I'm seeing. There's like a transition where you're like, you know what, screw it. I'm not going to do what I have done for X, Y, and Z long. <laughs> I'm going to do something that makes me feel good, that makes me feel excited, and something that I really genuinely want to go towards. That's what I'm seeing there. And also, temperance here is about water flowing from one cup to the other. So it is about, you know, really taking time to understand what your passion is as well. So for some of you, you might really be trying to understand it. That's what I'm seeing. But it's also about giving yourself that time and that space and not rushing like your process and thinking to yourself, I need to know exactly what I'm doing. I need to know exactly right now what I'm meant to be doing. This is about, you know, with time and giving yourself that time to be like, all right, you know, I will explore my options um, and see what I'm most drawn to as well. So essentially what's happening in March is that you're realizing that you don't want to be stuck in the same cycle, that in many ways, you know, you want to break the cycle. You want to do something that you feel good about. And that is a really good time to do so. Things are heating up in March, right? Things are very much so um, leaning towards your wish. You know, what is it that you want in your life in terms of abundance if it's more money what needs to happen right and if you're feeling st stuck in the same cycle now this can be you know for example it's just an example if you want more money in your life and you're living on you know a set perhaps a set salary or you know whatever it is remember this is just an example because it's just an example all right um, then, you know, obviously, you know, if that salary is, is just not enough, then of course two things need to happen. One is increasing um, the income or decreasing the spending. And so, you know, things like that can also apply to this particular reading where you're thinking of breaking out of the cycle. So perhaps, you know, if you want to increase your income, right, that's about looking for new opportunities. It's about doing something that you're also passionate about to also stimulate uh, your emotional needs as well. Or it's about, you know, perhaps decreasing the spending, which, to be honest, more people would prefer to increase their income. Like, just saying, you know, that's, <laughs> that's sort of naturally what people would want to do. Um, but yeah, you take this as a part of, take this to your situation. Apply this reading to your situation. And with the example I gave you, you know, it can really allow you to, to see what you can do and what also you want to do and that's the thing with tarot is it can really guide us in how we want to shape it around the things that we already do and the things that we want to do okay so that's how we use tarot and also you know it can really tell us also what's what's coming in march and i feel like you are going to have this renewed sense of emotion where you do feel like you know what i don't want to be in a cycle anymore i don't want to be stuck in a rut anymore i want to live my life i want to enjoy my life i want to be able to do the things that i want to do I want to feel good and I want to make my dreams and my wishes come true and I also want more abundance, right? And the four of wands here shows that you have the foundation to make that happen. Fours and tarot are all, all about foundation. It's about the fact that you can make your wishes and your dreams come true, right? It's about assessing the situation and then also very much so that coming your way so a balance here will happen for the long term in regards to what you want to make happen there you are there's your energy there you are leo king of wands i'm just grabbing the deck with my other hand as well so that i can shuffle this is you know about ideas creativity it's about pursuing it's about leading it's about doing what you truly want in your life there's a card actually that i have missed isn't there i saw one i saw one where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Tower. Yeah, look at that. Tower is um, essentially all about, you know, rebuilding. It's about uh, demolishing what's currently happening so that something new can get built. It's really about, um, you know, a demolition for the purpose of something greater. And that's what I'm seeing here with this tower energy. It's about breaking cycles. It's about, you know, breaking out of these chains and really you know, doing something that really fulfills you in line with your dream with this nine of cups. And this is about you taking action towards it with your male or female. Remember, I read energies in tarot, not genders. And then you've got the three of wands. January, February, March. 
aligns with the time frame of progression. So Leo, this is your reading. Hope it resonated with you. If it does, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below for more information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, bracelets which are on Etsy, all that good stuff. And yes, do take care.